check this out. It's not a vegan video, but it's got some great controversy at the moment. Let's watch this and what you think about it. Let's check it out. Incredibly aggressive approach for you two. It looks like you're absolutely just smashing this in. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I want to come and have an interview with you as well. That's the reason why I'm here. So just to see your eyes for the first time. It's nice. So hopefully we win this game and we can have a drink after. Don't blush, baby. <laughs> I'm not blushing. Oh. Really? Really? Let us know what you know at home, uh, what mm. you think at home, yeah. social media. I think you're Twitter, jealous, you've bro. Got Instagram, you've got emails, you've got carrier pigeon if that's the way you operate. <laughs> let me know, or let us know, collectively, what you think. It was pretty awkward, pretty ordinary, mm. pretty chauvinistic, and he should cop something for that. Oh, the reality is he's put Mel in an extremely uncomfortable position. She is a professional. She is someone who's very good at what she does and doesn't mm. deserve to be put mm. in that position. And I think it's safe to say that Chris Gale is the only one that walks away from that feeling embarrassed, hopefully, anyway. But you All right, here's my take on it. All right, this dude had a crack at a, a reporter, a journo, who's obviously got some experience hanging around horny fucking pro sportsmen and most of these cricket players are on testosterone the footy players etc what do you expect if you don't want that level of attention don't go to gyms or don't interview fucking horny sports people who are obviously not taking some steroids here and there to improve their athletic performance yes cricket players use steroids bat harder throw faster this girl she's wearing a sexy outfit she's got her hair done she's obviously no aesthetic she's got botox she's got her tits out and she's standing in front of a, a horny sportsman and he's having a crack at her. He says, I like your eyes. Don't blush, baby. Doing some negs, doing some game there. Let's go out and catch up later on for an interview. You know, so he's just having a crack at it. Uh, and this, this lady, this male lady, as if she's not doing some pingers on the weekend. As if she's not a bit of a party girl. All right? She's claiming to be some saint or whatever. This guy is doing it on camera in front of everyone to see, the world to see. It's not exactly a, it's not a workplace issue of someone, you know, went to everyone goes home going, all right, uh, just sleezing onto someone. That's different. This is like just a bit of game. I like your eyes. Let's catch up for a drink and interview later on. Pretty fucking straightforward game. But it's causing an uproar. How's that jealous journo, the fat dude sitting on the, uh, the cricket bench at the Oval? That dude is mega jelly. He's got the hots for Mel, but this cricket player, what's his name? Chris Gale. Gale, he's got some Gale Force game, and this fat journo dude is as fucking jelly as, and there's so many other journos who are jelly as fuck, they don't have the, the, the confidence to fucking do daytime game like this Chris Gale does, man. So all you guys out there hating, man, you're just hating because this guy's got confidence with girls, and he's getting it, and you ain't, and don't hate, on, don't hate the fucking player, man, pun intended, but this, for me, this is not sexual abuse, sexual assault. I like your eyes, let's catch up for a drink later on or whatever. That's like, fuck, man. If you can't handle that, then get a job working in a women's gym or something. Now, I'm, I'm not condoning sexual abuse. Some people say this is sexual abuse. I mean, like, whatevs, whatevs. In my opinion, it's not. What do you think down below? Does this constitute sexual abuse or what does it co co uh, constitute daytime game? A bit of pickup, a bit of PUA. I mean, fuck, we live in such a politically correct society today that... Stuff like this gets blown across the fucking World Wide Web. Australian mass media is going on a frenzy with it. Meanwhile, we've got Australian Aboriginals living in fucking third world conditions, kids dying every day from obesity in Australia. Over 30,000 Australians per year dying from heart disease from eating too much meat. But it doesn't get much press, does it? No but one wants to know about that. No one wants to know about that. We've got some Distracted. girl on the weekend who probably looks like she does a bit of cocaine on the weekend and fucking whatever else she's doing. Who knows what she's up to? Gets hit on, on camera... By the basic pickup line, and it's like, oh my god, outrage. Fucking crazy. Go vegan, carb the fuck up. Leave your comments down below.